Okay, uh, I have this uh, new to me uh, model 760 Remington. It is a uh, pump action, which means it's a manually cycle. And uh, basically, you load and eject your own rounds by moving the pump back and forth. And uh, it's a used gun. It's from the 1950s, 1953 to be exact. And uh, it's uh, had some wear and use, some honest use, I'd say. It's in very good condition. But uh, I'd like to uh, take it apart and clean it because I think it's I can see evidence of a lot of, uh, you know, uh, gunk in there, oil that maybe has uh, lacquered up and things like that. And I'd like to take the action apart and, uh, and clean it good so that it'll, you know, function good for a long time. Uh, when you work on a firearm, is make sure it's unloaded nothing in the chamber, remove the magazine out the bottom, that's what this is for, and uh, then you can uh, begin working on it. The first thing uh, that I, I saw that you need to do is punch out these two uh, uh, pins that go across, they hold the action in, all right? And uh, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to use a uh, this little punch I have here, I'm going uh, left to right, because that's kind of a general rule when you remove things, is always go left to right and put them back in right to left. I don't know if that's right on this or not, but I'm going to do it. That pin's going through. That pin's going through. Very easy. Remove them. This one's ugh, stuck in there a little bit harder. Okay, pull that out. And I understand the action will come out, or the, I should say the trigger group will come out forward and down. Went forward, there we go. Just like that. And indeed it is full of lots of gunk. So I'll be cleaning that up. Okay, so we got that out. And you can see inside it's, yeah, it's really dirty. It's full of uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay? So I want to clean that out and clean the bowl off the carrier. Now the next thing that uh, you're supposed to do is remove the screw on the end of this gizmo and that will allow the fore end to come off. So I'm going to do that. I might have okay, I uh, found out what was going on there. And what is going on is that there is a little pin on this particular model that runs through here and is preventing this from turning and here I was you know horsing on this trying to get this to come off and it had that pin in there that uh, is blocking that okay so I'm tapping that out and hit remove that now there's the culprit right there the pin now I should be able to unscrew this big nut here ah there we go ah that's a lot easier and that is uh, now coming off the end of that tube. I didn't see that in the direction that I found. Okay, so we got that removed. Okay. And now I understand that I can bring this forward. And yeah, sure. Bring it forward. No, well, maybe I need to. Oh here it is, okay. I guess I need to leave that one back. Uh, there is a hole, you can see it here, in the uh, action tube, or the tube action, whatever. I don't know all the names of the parts, so that's why I'm not telling you the right names. But uh, what you need to do is find a punch that's the right diameter to go through there. And this goes all the way through, and that's actually how you're supposed to uh, unscrew it. There we go. And basically, once you get that in there, you just turn it, supposedly. And that's tight. Lefty Lucy, right? Well, that's what I'm doing. And it's supposed to come off there. Okay. Uh, for, for those of you who don't know what Croil is, I thought I'd get the can out and show you. Uh, K-A-N-O is the manufacturer of Croil. It is the uh, oil that creeps. <laughs> and I use it uh, a lot. Uh, and I would suggest uh, if you do any kind of 
uh, frequent work on guns, get you some of that stuff. It's great on stuff that's locked up uh, or otherwise, you know, an old old piece like this. I put it on the junction down there and uh, after a little bit it, uh, it uh, helped loosen it up. Okay, so now I'm able to rotate this tube. I guess it's the action tube, as you call it. And that will unscrew from the receiver. And that will allow the barrel and the uh, bolt and the bolt carrier all to come out of the receiver. Just about pretty. Yep. Okay, now I can take the whole thing off and slide it forward. And that is supposed to allow the barrel to come out. <laughs> Should have taken it apart and put it back together. I didn't have all this uh, ridiculous stuff going on here. Things get seized up when they're old. Like I said, sometimes it's tapping gently. It's a brass hammer. We'll loosen things up and up to come apart. Ugh. That's moving. It wants to come apart. Wow. There we go. Now you can see the barrel coming loose there finally. Like that. There we go. Here's the here's the ejection port cover right there. It just slips in a slot right there. Okay. Okay. The uh, basically now that you've got the barrel and the action with the uh, bolt carrier and the bolt out of the uh, receiver, then you take the tube out of the front like that. And then that'll allow your uh, that will allow nothing. No. <laughs> uh, somehow this end comes off of here too. I think I just might need to pull it off. But you know what? Actually, there's a you uh, see this thing right here is like a screw tightening. Okay, uh, figured out how to take the wood off. Remember, this is my first time doing this, and uh, like I said, there was no YouTube's to show me how to do it. But there's this. Uh, this nut here on the end and the only thing I could figure to use to, to unscrew was a quarter so that's what I'm using and it worked fine because it wasn't in there very hard at all and so I'm just going to take that off and that will get it out there it goes there it goes just like that it's just old and got a lot of crud on it Okay, that's what you end up with right there. And uh, now you can get it everything and clean it. And, uh, and I'll, re I'll basically reverse everything to put it back together. Okay, just thought I'd show you that uh, got it pretty well cleaned up. You can see the bolts pretty well cleaned up now on the carrier and and uh, receiver area there and inside of here is much nicer looking now than it was you can see that and uh, so we got all the gunk out of it and I uh, cleaned up the fire control group right here very nicely got it all nice and oiled up and uh, ready to put back together now and again it's just 